In this video, we're going to look at three of the most prevalent design system platforms out there. We're going to take a bit of a deep dive into each website and to see what offerings they have. I'm also going to give you my opinion as uh, we look at these websites together. And ultimately, hopefully, we will see which one is the best one for you. So I would say without further ado, let's jump straight in, shall we? Design systems are nothing new these days. Everybody wants one and everybody knows what a design system is. But unless you have a very competent design team and a set of amazing developers behind you, it's very difficult to actually build something that you can maintain. But don't worry. There are platforms out there that are offering services for you guys to actually use to create your central point of truth and build your design systems. So first of all, let's jump straight in, shall we, to the first one, which is, okay, Frontify. Yeah, Frontify is probably one of the most well-known of the brand platforms. It's one that we talk about most on this channel and it's one that we've had the most experience with. Uh, they, not so long ago, had a rebrand. Um, they've had some serious investment as well into the business, which just shows you how important design systems are and how much they're growing. Um, so yeah, I would say that these are probably the um, the big boys, as it were, on the on the design system scene in the offering. They have the biggest team and have been around uh, the longest and have built quite a name for themselves. Um, as we scroll through the website, you can see uh, some of their promises. So come together to make everyone a brand builder. Uh, connect the ecosystem of every team. So as you can see here, they look to integrate everything together from uh, InDesign, Figma, Storybook, uh, Cloud, Sketch, even XD, uh, and uh, Slack. So they say here, everyone has their favorite tools. We make sure you can integrate, automate, and keep on creating brand experiences with the tools you love to use. So they're very much about creating um, a community also, and really um, striving to give the designers and the uh, people who are actually in charge of building these design platforms, the things that they want. Um, so as I say, they've been around a little bit longer than everyone else, so they've had the time to mature. As you can see here, they run a podcast um, where they invite key speakers from the industry to talk about design and other things design system uh, influenced. Uh, nice thing here, you can jump directly in to say a chatbot. I say it's a nice thing, it's, it's nice that it's there. Um, I've not used it, so I don't know how, how good that is, but it's there. Um, what else do we have? Let's have a scroll back to the top. Brand guidelines, digital asset management, creative collaboration, digital and even print templates. So they're going full on on making everything very, very accessible. So in the navigation we have Yfrontify, uh, brand stories, so we can also have a look at some testimonials of companies who have used Frontify, so some pretty big names here already as you can see, nationwide, uh, BVB for the German audience, uh, we also have Lufthansa, Vodafone, Sennheiser, etc etc um, I think Frontify are actually um, from Switzerland um, and I think they have quite a diverse team of people behind them as well from all over the place what else do we have here we have the 80 set of brand guidelines everything you need to know so they're really about building a destination when it comes to a website um, I've also got a bit of information here as well um, about Frontify. Um, here it says Frontify is pretty much 
the uh, top dog and uh, especially recommended for large corporations uh, that also have high security requirements. That's super important for a lot of uh, bigger businesses is um, security that your data is not going to get hacked um, and you know you can have a lot of very sensitive information on there and it's safe and Frontify do promise that. Uh, Frontify offers extensive uh, features that go far beyond classic style guides. A great benefit is that the basic platform also can be set up for free. So that's actually really good from very, very large scale organizations to just small organizations. Um, you have some kind of entry point. So it, they make this available for everyone. So from Lufthansa, who of course are gonna pay a lot of money for security, to your local business, who is just gonna benefit and doesn't really have the budget to uh, create a proper design system. They're also still gonna have accessibility to these platforms. So that is absolutely fantastic. So Frontify, definitely uh, one to check out, depending on the size of uh, your business um, and the requirements that you may need moving forward. All right, the next one is Corebook. So, um, yeah, Corebook is for those who have high design standards and want to bring the brand to life visually. Corebook is an online platform for brand guidelines with a focus on individual design. So, Corebook is a pretty much uh, a kind of a new kid on the block, and they're taking a slightly different approach um, to Frontify. They are really trying to um, make the front end of the experience really, really flexible and easy to use. One of the problems that I've had with Frontify is that you don't really have too much customization when it comes to implementing brand into your uh, designs when actually building the platforms, whereas um, Callbook have really seen this and, you know, made this like a, a very much um, a part of their product. So you can see here, um, you can really, really customize and get really under the hood of, uh, of building the actual platform as well. Uh, they say they have an easy onboarding and uh, quick start. So that's a principle of theirs. Uh, they also have Here's another principle, uh, brand guidelines that I used afterwards. So uh, that promise that you will be going back time and time again to use Corebook once you've set this up. Um, they have a uh, extensive yeah, list of clients here from GoPuff to Opal to HelloFresh and Vauxhall and then other companies I've not heard of, but definitely um, some very uh, high profile and um, desirable brands to have on the platform. Loved by brilliant branding teams and leading design studios, agencies behind the brands. Okay, so McCann, uh, Nord ID, Monday Creative, AM Copenhagen and M and C from the Saatchi group. So some pretty cool um, names there. Uh, they also offer collaborative prototyping, sharing that simply works, another principle of theirs. So you can also see that they go um, a little bit more high-end when it, on, the, on the styling. It's a very different. Uh, Frontify is playful, but still a little bit corporate. Um, but yeah, they go all in. I think this is definitely to convince the, the design in, designers in us that there's an alternative to Frontify. Uh, principle five, interactive brand storytelling. What else? Custom URLs, very important. Uh, sync with your cloud, privacy conscious, privacy, privacy conscious. Um, so again, offering that, uh, service that Frontify is offering that things are safe 
and also future proofing. I think also the layout of the website is just very, very nice and easy to use. There's not too much going on. Um, as I said, they're kind of the, the new boys or the new kids on the block, as it were. And uh, you can see they're offering like a Spotify playlist rather than a podcast, because obviously that's uh, the next level of investment there. Um, but yeah, some really, really nice uh, offerings here, very similar and comparable to, to Storybook. Um, sorry, to, to Callbook. I do, uh, I do apologize. Um, but yeah, overall, looks pretty nice. We also have a little trailer here. Let's check that out. So you can actually see what's going on behind the scenes. Pretty cool. So we get to experience the interface there. Yeah, all looks pretty solid. Let's close this. Book a demo, book a demo, um, log in, and there's also studio, um, online brand guidelines, prototype platform, create for brand studio. Okay. All right. Nice. So let's move on to the final one, which is Brandpad. Okay, so Brandpad is for our avant-garde designers. Um, this is about creating contemporary brand guidelines that looks at least as cool as the company website. So right off the bat, you can see that style is everything. Um, this is definitely for the more yeah uh, conscious when it comes to how you present your work. Um, very, very simple um, layout. Uh, has this kind of very kind of Swiss post design aesthetic to it. Looks very much like how uh, you would want a design system to look. Uh, would definitely make a nice poster on the wall. Uh, colors, are these tokens? These are not tokens. You can just copy and paste. Okay, all right. But very, very minimalistic. We have done the groundwork. So it's really like slap bang in your face. It's saying, look, this is this is the cool place to be. You've got your car books. You've got your frontifies. Let them do their thing. But if you're a serious designer, um, and you're working for like a boutique sneaker store uh, and you want a really nice brand guideline, then uh, this is a place to be. Again, look here, we've got some names. Uh, we've got Ikea, Lego, MoMA, uh, Pentagram, Warner. All right, okay. Yeah, definitely some great testimonials there. It says here, Brandpad is made by designers for designers. There we go. This was my prediction. Um, it's time visual identities found a proper format to live in. All right, thank you very much, Brandpad. Uh, so get free access or book a demo here. Super, super simple, really, really easy to, uh, to understand. Again, free features. Yeah, some, what do we have here? designed by you, custom everything, download assets, launch and share, digitally update and sync portfolio, friendly. It's all the stuff that you'd expect from a design system platform, but looking really, really cool. Yeah, um, that just about is it, I think. Those are the three main design system platforms to look out for. Uh, as I said, we've had um, our experience with Frontify. It's done us good so far, but we're definitely going to be looking into the other platforms and seeing how they perform for our clients as well and for our projects. So that just about wraps it up for this uh, very quick video all about design system platforms. Let us know in the comments below if we've missed anything and uh, if you guys have had any good or bad experiences with any of these design system platforms. If you've reached this far in the video, you know I always ask for a like. So if you do us that, 
pleasure and a favor uh, drop us a like on this video it definitely helps us to continue to make great ton content like this for you and don't forget to subscribe and and as always we will see you in the next one peace